Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Stan. And tonight we're reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship collection by Eagle Moss, issue 104 and 105. Ta-da! Excellent. A ship that four fans have been waiting for. <laughs> hey! It's a Janolan! It's Scottish ship! I have never heard somebody go, you know what I'm really missing from my collection? You obviously haven't been paying attention to the Eagle Moss fan group. Yeah, yeah, because the moment people said about it, people started right. getting excited. Yeah. But up until then, nobody had requested this ship. It's only appeared as the Janolan once. Has appeared as other ships, though. Upside down. In I did bits of it have appeared. No, no, no the, whole sh the whole thing. In Deep Space Nine, just the other way. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, and of course, it, it appeared before it had its warp cells added. And other bits added as the executive <laughs> shuttle. But as the Janolan, but as the Janolan, as the Janolan, just the one. I mean, don't get me wrong. And then Picard is a doorstop. It was a great episode. Yes, it was a great episode. We just hold the door open for a moment. We'll just throw Donald with you at the last minute so we can get through. Actually, that was a bit. Yeah, that. Whoa. Technically, technically, they could have probably transported the whole thing aboard the ship. Well, yeah, also, also, uh, really, was that able to produce a shield big enough to, to let a uh, galaxy class ship through? I'm thinking not. <laughs> but anyway, crow, 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 crowbar plot point there. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. A Dyson Sphere. Huh. Right. Sven. Yes. Let me do the math. This is Strangely detailed. Oh God, they fudged it. Why? Did they? Why? Yeah. Did they? Can I do the mag? Oh. Shh. Shh. Oh, well, I saw the bottom and I was excited. Saw the top, thought that was decent, mm -hmm. and I saw the water Shh. cells and the join lines. Can't. And the colour. Relax. I'm doing the mag. I can't relax. Stop I'm looking at it. This thing. I'm doing the mag. Stop looking. Mag. Mag. It should sound like we were 17 and in the canal woods again. Shh, looking at the mag. It's a good job I don't looking remember. Looking at the mag. mag. <laughs> Issue 104, it is the USS Genoa, which is Sydney class, which suggests that the Sydney would be NCC 2000, which clearly it wasn't because I was Excelsior. So uh, we'd abandoned the whole this ship, this class, this run of numbers by that point. I'm guessing it's because Band abandoned Excelsior it, dropped it like a hot rock Excelsior, and ran away. Excelsior was a failed experiment, so perhaps NCC 2001 but like was USS Sydney. What? <laughs> you can't use it, sorry. <laughs> what, like Discovery? <laughs> Again, you can't use that one. <clears throat> a failed experiment. Come on, David, think of a joke. Think of a joke. <clears throat> okay, three, two, thought. one. Ready? What, like New Labour? That wasn't a failed fucking experiment that were in, in power for ten years. <laughs> the <Duh> fuck? <laughs> from my perspective, it failed. Um, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. Right, so, so I'll just give you a fresh edit because you can't fucking use any of those bloopers. Where am I going to start from? Anyway, issue 104 uh, is the NCC 2010 USS Genolan, which is Sydney class. Uh, which this registration number would suggest, of course, that the USS Sydney would be NCC 2000, which doesn't work because it was the Excelsior. But then the Excelsior was a failed experiment. So maybe they reallocated the numbers or something, or take they just take dumped breath, the whole breath, idea. Calm. Maybe NCC 2001 was the USS Sydney. Mm -hmm. No, that was Odyssey. <laughs> Sorry, talking <clears> about <throat> an Odyssey, um, or Oddity. This is terrible. Or... Launched 23rd century, length 235 metres, maximum speed warp 6. Okay. How exactly? Affiliation Federation. Yeah, they're broken. Um, crew 30 plus up to 200 passengers. What? Yep. No. No, 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 no. Let, Let me, me see, see the warp nacelle. Let me see the That's spec. the warp nacelle off an Enterprise refit, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, well, what makes that ship pretty damn big? Okay. I I didn't realise this ship was meant to be that large. Well, to be honest, there's your bridge. 
But that wipes out your Galaxy class starship argument. Why? Mm, because it would actually be big enough. It's to shield. Make. It's shield. Shield bubble. Right. Would. Considering mm. this ship would not be as big as the saucer section. Because the Enterprise reef set would be about this big, and therefore, and which is slightly larger, <laughs> a shorter than the. Anyway, um, here we have a nice CG shot of the ship, uh, and there's the original model as crashed into the Dyson sphere, uh, which Geordie and, uh, and Scotty managed to get back off the surface, so as, as to rescue said Galaxy class starship with this dubious method. Um, I have the old girls. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't do it, Dylan. Don't do it, Dylan. He can do your accent. Can he do your Scottish accent? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, did the old did, did Jim Kirk get the old girls out of mothballs? Why is there a Klingon in the Starfleet uniform? Um, yeah. Calm. He's just too excited about this one. I don't. Here we have passenger quarters, a warp nacelle, impulse. There's a giveaway as a warp nacelle, that really, because we've never seen that design before. No. Um, main bridge, forward hatch, uh, ventral sensor array, and a warp core. Warp core. That's the warp core. Yeah, looks like a deflection crystal to me, but we'll get that. Um, and then uh, designing the USS Genoa, you took the executive shuttle and you whacked on some bits. Yeah, that's exactly what, what they did. That's what, does it, Greg Jean? Greg Jean? That's his name. Anyway, and of course Jimmy, James Doohan, um, who was fantastic in the show, let's be honest, and quite fantastic in the movies, and actually was quite a laugh in their TNG as well, including the cutscene. Puck a guy, really? Well, yeah. Pretty cool. Some don't, not bad lads either, let's face it. Um, oh, I love that scene. Hello, computer. Be. It would have been better with the Commodore in it, as yeah. it was originally scripted. Me. But Connor went, I don't want to be involved with that. What? Yeah, idiots. Mm, why would why oh why would you want Commodore involved with the with the, with uh, with Star Trek? Oh it wasn't like you used um Kirk to sell Commodore 64s ten years previously or anything, was it? Oh no 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 well five years previously. Anyway. It is green. It is green. Key appearance of relics, obviously. And there's some trivia about the episode. And it's still green. It is. And then mentioning the next ep next episode, next issue, which is the smuggler ship as seen at Quaylor 2 in, uh, what, reunification? Unification? Unification? This will be interesting. What do you think of this? It's a ship. Yeah. It's a Federation ship, so I want it. <clears throat> right, that's what they're saying. No. Especially one running around with those himself. Ample they may 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 not be. Um, oh god, the, the, the lack of cross on the front again. Ugh. Take a closer look. I know it's there, but the paint isn't. No, no, it isn't, but take a closer look. Oh good god. Yeah, yeah, okay. And look at the sides. Distinct lack of ridges along the nacelle. Oh look, it's because it's paint. Yeah. That's terrible. Oh, those nacelles are a bit of a letdown, aren't they? A, a bit. It, it dropped it from being an eight and a half to a four. Just for the nacelles? It really, really sticks out to them. Ah, fair enough. I mean, Even at this distance? Yeah, it, this it distance? lost out. Yes. <laughs> it lost out for the join mark on the back. A bit, but I was going to forgive it, but the moment I... I no, no. Considering the amount of detail on the bottom and on the top. They really smudged something so simple. Yeah, I mean, you already had the design. And I know I know you basically redesigned from scratch, but couldn't you have just taken the CAD drawing and, and uh, the wireframe from, from it just, either the Reliant or... The, the thing or, is, no? underneath... There, there's no colour differential whatsoever, but the mm. detail is really nice. This yeah. back join line, I think, is clumsy, but I would have forgiven it that. Because originally I looked at the top and thought, yeah, paint's nice. Mm. The um, Registry number's right. Yeah, the bridge is painted. And by painted, right, I mean it's the, the right colour, right, right outlining, etc. I was a little disappointed with the back engine, but not massively so. Mm. The moment the I saw, we never saw it on, so. 
The moment I saw the edge of the walk nacelles, that was it. It just lost. I mean, look at what they've gone to all that trouble just there. Yeah, they've got the registry number on there and, and it'd be yeah. legible. Just. They they kind of put the cross on the front, but not but really. But misaligned it. And then they just, yeah, painted it on. That's just, I don't know. Very, very let down by that one. they put on the side they actually painted the windows properly yeah. which I realised that when we first started reviewing this magazine that was a given but recently they've let us down a few times <laughs> just be glad we haven't got the jumbo in front of us <sighs> I've just seen shots from the Enterprise E where they've painted on the um, escape pods yeah but the red corners yeah have misaligned completely oh. so they're not around the escape pods they're at all random places it's just like, oh god. Can um, you score it so we can move on to the next one? Because I'm just so let down by that. I'm giving it a seven. Even though they didn't bother painting on the impulse engines. Mm, I don't see a problem there because we never saw them all. Okay. Um, the only reason is, that, to be honest, it would have been a nine if it wasn't for the lack of ridges in the. No, that's. I don't. It's just really sticking to me. It's, it's, I'm taking two two off for the nacelles not being as they should be. Um, I'm judging that All one right. a bit harsher because... But I do quite like that ship, so that probably mm. causes it a bit. Come on then, let's do the smuggler. The smuggler ship. Right, here we go. Type of combat vessel. I thought it was a smuggling vessel. Mm. Probably weird. Well, no, you'd, you'd want a combat capable smuggling vessel. Yes. Uh, 24th century, 500 metres, phaser cannon weaponry. This, of course, appeared... In the, was it in the place of the Tripoli? Was it the USS Tripoli? Tripoli took the place of? I don't want to put it down. That, mm. I've, got, I've got a horrible feeling I'll break that box. You can spare gun goods to it. Docker, is it Docker Chim? Docker Chim? I don't know how to The guy's name. Um, the Quaidor 2. Right. Yes, this was responsible for picking up pit, pits of Tapau. Um, Right, Smuggler's Combat Vessel, 24th century, 500 metres long, war powered, multiple phaser cannons, and it is black. It is. Um, CG shot of ship, there is the original model, as appeared in the quite large 2 section of Redemption. No, it's not Redemption. Why do we keep saying, trying to say Redemption? I don't know. Unification. It's unification. Um, there we go, it getting a little bit frazzly. Um, Mr. Dorchim, Dokachim, Dokachim, the Zach Dorn, the Zach Dorn chap. Mm. Yes, um, and there we have the Quaylor Two Depot with yeah, look, look, <laughs> it's a little bit of a um, a concept enterprise from uh, Planet of the Titans, and there's a concept Excelsior, and there's a bit of a getting the class. Yeah. You enjoying your little bits? Mm, yes, a bit too much for me, think yes. There we go. Topographical view. Are the impulse engines painted on the back? They are. Shocking. Um, main bridge. And the warp engines. And the warp engines. <gasps> they painted They've them They've gone all out on this non-hero ship. Yep. Um, you would not believe the level of detail they put into this non-hero ship. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ship. Okay. There we go. And then a bit of the making of unification because, of course, they were filming Star Trek VI very soon. There were bits of Star Trek VI were being filmed around unification and so on and so forth. Which is why Michael Dorn was able to just like, oh, can I have a slightly different bridge this week? And I'll pop over to do the filming. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll work. <laughs> oh, look, real Starfleet uniforms. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. That's just a bit rude. Get out. Um, yeah, oh, you know them. Sarek. Oh, Vulcan. Um, again. He was filming yeah. both at the same time, wasn't he? Pretty much. And there's a very handsome woman. According to him. And, uh... 
Yeah. Of course, key appearance was the first part of unification because we didn't make it to the second. Um, Farmiga. No fat Ferengi. No fat Ferengi, and okay. there's a bit of party. And then we have next issue, which it's the Kazon, so you can say the word. Kazon. 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 One of my. Are you ogling that? I'm not ogling it. I'm happy it's part of the collection. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm not, not, not joining in with this, Jay. Ogla. This. Right. I will tell you right. I will tell you right now. Right now. That looks like a bloody weapon, that does. This is a nine and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why does it have dialect bumps? <laughs> <laughs> Those are anti draft generators, aren't they? Um, Look at the level of detail they put in right on that ridge, just there, as well. Okay. All along here, there. Look at the win look at the windows. They painted. They were saving there. so much on paint. Um, they were saving so much on paint. They actually decided to put it in the places where it um, belonged. That's actually really well done. Look at the engines. I am looking at the engines. You are looking at the engines. It's... it's, it's ah. Wow, okay. What? Okay. I'm not sure there's much more they could have done with that. No, there isn't. That's why you've got a nine and a half. Have you ever known me give any Starship more than a nine and a half? You? Yeah. I think I'll join you. It's a nine and a half. I... I'm not having it. I'm not going to get one. You know what? I honestly think that that's... Actually, I might because it's next gen, isn't it? I honestly think that this mm. is... The best vessel they have done to date. I will actually go that far. Okay. That's kind of scary. Even more than the Valdor. Yeah. I mean, it's close, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't think they've the Grissom? done... Grissom? They have not done any ship as well as they've done this one. Grissom? With a lovely ship. This is better done. I'd say not. I think this is better done. I'd say it might be on par, just. Alright, we'll but say the on par. class was really well done. Really, really well done. It was, but I'm telling you. The, okay, should we go with this? Is the best alien vessel they have done. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd yeah, definitely say that this is the best alien vessel they've done. Considering there's nothing they could do with the colour. <laughs> that's Those nacelles? It's, 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 an error, it's, error, it's got errors. But as a ship, I prefer it. But that's an okay. Ship. Okay. But here's actually... here's, a, here's an interesting bit then. Yeah, TNG ship. Mm -hmm. TNG ship. Yeah, I will end up with both. I'm thinking about it. No, no, that that wasn't the bit I was going to make, right? <clears throat>
I'm sorry, I expected better, to be brutally honest. I didn't expect this. At least it wasn't expensive as the, the, the executive shuttle. Mm. Which would which is that big and works out to be what? How much? Yeah. Part of shuttle pack two? I I did not expect this to be this standard. I knew it was on the list and mm. I thought, oh well, that'll be okay. It's not a ship I have any fond attachment of whatsoever. I've seen it. Didn't have time. Yeah. It was on screen and blew up. Boom. <laughs> and yet they've done such a phenomenal job on this one. And what will be hilarious is if it. the next version of what was that ship before it got altered mm. is a scrub. Because <laughs> we've only got a few issues to wait. I think it might be two, three, maybe four before the next version of that particular model got reintegrated. Okay, so hugely disappointed mm -hmm. about a ship that I was not particularly looking forward to but yeah. went well, yeah it's in the collection again with the Eagle Moss doing what Eagle Moss do yeah a, sh a, a ship that belongs in the collection that yeah. you might not necessarily have gone you know what I'm really missing this one another again a ship that I no nobody would have asked for nobody no, I honestly I think you'd struggle to find anybody when you know what ship I really want yeah it's that what that, that random black one from uh and yeah, two. I am really confident that if I showed this to a cross section of TNG fans, they won't even recognise them. But the go that it's quality and it looks mm. nice. It's quality and it looks nice. This does not look nice. Hmm. And yet they did the windows really well. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrating, isn't it? Well, I think okay. that about wraps it up for us. You know what? We'd love to read your comments, so please leave them in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube and you can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye. You fucked me over in the bloopers last week. I am not talking until you are fucking ready. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, crow, crow, blah, bar, plop. <clears throat> Kapla. Kapla, you know. Crow, crow, bar, plot point there. It's a shame. I, I really did want to come up with something funny for that, but it wasn't going to happen. It really does. Um. <laughs> That's going to get the bloopers. Ah, cut it! Make sure. Yes. Go. Blooper! Blooper! <clears throat> Sailor. Yeah. Not Moon. No, <laughs> that was coming. <laughs> no, you could see her in the outfit. Although it, it's Salar. That's Dr. Salar, that's Sailor. No, Sailor. Salar was the Vulcan. S E L A, Sailor. <laughs> Moon! You still want to put her in the uniform. <laughs> anyway, Denise is a fine looking woman. <laughs> right, well, I think that about Rams. Rams it up, please. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>